Okay, uh, what's today? Today's Sunday, isn't it? Yep. Normally we'd go to Jewett City. The humidity is more bearable today, according to the weather guesses early this morning. Um, I'm in the shade, and I think I will be for a few hours. Um, I can breathe, and I'm going to try to work on this generator. I have been doing a lot of reading on it. I reread the book again on it, and um, the bottom line is I'm going to replace the carburetor. Uh, I can't work on it underneath like that. I'd have to take the carburetor off anyways, so um, I might as well just replace it with the one that I've got, uh, assuming it, it's the same thing, and I'm pretty sure it is. I've been looking on eBay, and for $14.50 with the tax, because it charged tax, I get a, another carburetor with the gaskets and a, another choke lever, not that this one's broken. Um, so even though I got the one from Champion, I've ordered another carburetor. Um, it's a USA seller, but when you get the receipt from PayPal, it's sent to, and it's a whole bunch of Chinese writing, so you can't win. But anyways, um, all of the carburetors I have seen on eBay for this model, I think it's a 46514 is the model of this, uh, show a little mixture screw on the side, and I don't remember seeing that on the one that I got from Champion. So in the event that I need a gasket and this one breaks, I'm going to have to wait until the carburetor comes in because that has gaskets. The one I've got from Champion does not have gaskets. So you can see this exhaust that I made here. You, some of you have inquired as to why I don't you know, try to turn it around. You can only turn it around so much here. And yes, I can clear it over here to turn it around, but I'm very limited to turning it around so I can work on it. So I removed the cord, I hung it up in here. That's the cord I made up for the Coleman. And the RV 10 gauge plug, by the way, all this wiring here underground is 10 gauge, although I only have a 20 amp breaker on it. I have the capacity to put a 30 amp if I want to. Okay, oh anyways, Tommy's going to be doing some photography here. Yep. Um, who's that, Rhonda Vincent? Yep. Okay, why don't you get your tripod out? We need to set this on a tripod so you can watch this old fart work. <laughs> I did not want to get it out that miserable hot day. I had all I can do to stand there. Just carrying this over and it's still too damn humid. But this is the ramp I built. It's underneath the house. It's all musty and mildew. Look. We have to live with it because that's the way things are around here. It's not sitting on the ground, it's sitting on pressure treated 2 by 4 by 4s underneath the house. Back in the good old days when I was used to be able to get bargain wood. And this weighs about 50 pounds. There's stainless steel bolts coming through here that go into holes there. You'll see it. How I do it. And this is the other end, to keep it level, this serves as a ramp or a stand that I can slide the generator out on. You want me to help you? Uh, no, just video it. I have been able to do this myself before. I hope the whole thing get plugged up. Of course, I can't see anything. <laughs> what else is there? Yeah. yeah. Right. 
I go back to work tomorrow. Yay! Yep. I got a handle on this end. The wood's rotting away already. It's not partially treated. All right, she's in there. Now, the way it's designed, this can be a lamp. The lamp take the whole thing right off. But I'm not doing that. I'm not able to paint this. I don't have any oil-based paint. Everything I got is a crappy latex. Ah, oh, trying to remember. There you go. All right. Now, the way that's designed. The ground didn't change elevation here. We got a, a contraption out of wood here that I made that blocks the front wheel. Uh, front no, well, there's only two wheels on it. Uh, blocks the wheels, and you screw this down, keeps it from rolling out. So. Now, what I got to do here I didn't put the cotton pin in here. What did I do with that? Pin, the pin in the uh, the little clip is gone. So I had to put, have to put a nail in it. You're always losing something. I'm always losing something. Always. Like me, you know. I lose things too. Now, originally, this whole panel has, this plywood that it was on, has uh, six little rollers underneath which would mean that I wouldn't have to unhook anything. I could slide the whole thing right out on here. Uh, but it's been sitting all these years. I don't think those rollers are probably any good. They're little cheapies that I got from uh, Harbor Freight. But that's all right. We can, it's going to be hard getting it up back on the platform again. We'll worry about that when time comes. Trying to get it back on the platform, and this thing's loose because I lost the pin. I don't know where it went to. I'm always losing things, always. <laughs> so now, now I can get on the other side and work. So uh, we're going to be videoing from this end. So we can stop the camera, come around here. Okay, I found it. It was I've had it set down in the corner over here. We can get this nail out because this is too sloppy here. <laughs> so we'll put this back in here. Nice breeze out here. Not much of one. As long as they, that damn sun don't come out over in this area, I'll be all right. <laughs> in the summer, I hate the sun. In the winter, I love it. When Boy, it's cold and nothing like it. Well, you gotta get this job done. I gotta get it done. Now, I got this under here to catch the thing. I'm still gonna be working on an angle here, because the air cleaner's over here. So, let me put this nail back in the shed. Let me see if it's possible because I didn't think of that. I'm left-handed, so everything's awkward. You know, let me see if I can, let's see if it's possible. Yeah, it is. There you go. Okay, now I got access to everything. All right. All right, first thing I gotta do is... Okay, we 
we got, I think, 10. Sure. Yep. Is that camera on, Tom? Yep. Okay. Where are you going? Go real quick. <laughs> nice. You go to the P more than I do. I hardly ever. All right, folks, but, uh, I've been watching YouTube videos on this, and uh, Andrew from the UK, he does not have a channel, but he has given me uh, some links to some videos. Uh, Champion has a series out, too, on replacing the carburetor. The carburetor is easy to replace. The hard part is getting the governor linkage in because um, I'm taking it out. It's a little tricky and I watched Donny Boy 73 also. Um, that was another link that uh, Andrew gave me and thank you Andrew. Um, and you have to jockey the, car the uh, carburetor out. Fortunately the carburetor is on two studs. You may not be able to see this. Um, I'll have to move the camera because Tommy is uh, is uh, in the house at the moment. I think I've had this off before, not the carburetor, but the, uh, the air filter housing. Okay. Now I gotta clean this up. I'll leave that over here. See, this is why I made this thing here. Of course, it's a little loose. It's rotting because this is not pressure-treated wood. I, I, the problem is, I only had a tiny bit of oil-based paint when I built this. Like everything else, I'm always running out of something, <laughs> so I mix it with paint thinner and I soak the wood. But you know, and storing anything under the house, everything under there is musty. That's just the way it is because you're. You know, it's on the ground, even though it's not sitting on the ground, it's sitting on 4x4s. And I got plywood on top of that back in the good old days when I could get bargain wood. Alright, so, now... The problem's going to be the gaskets. Uh, when Champion sent me that carburetor which was in 2011 that's when I bought this never used it but they didn't send me any gaskets with it at all uh, maybe at the time they figured well it was a brand new generator and you only ran it for a short time which I did because it was surging not a lot but it was surging and they probably figured you probably didn't need the gaskets well there's a gasket stuck on the intake here that I am not going to be able to get off. Let's see now. Uh, got my glasses, but that don't do any good. Want me to help you? No, no. I got it. Let me get a socket. I can see better than you can. I know you can, but you got to know where to look. I got it. One quarter inch to unloosen the um, gas line because I had put a regular clamp on the gas line. The difference right away I can see is there's a metal elbow that comes up this way on this carburetor on the replacement. It's a short stubby one about three eighths of an inch long It comes out straight. So I guess it'll still work. Uh, sure. Gotta get light in here. I need a lot of light when I'm seeing. Um, Let me just experiment with that choke lever. Um, okay, here's the lever, here's the choke lever here. All right. I just want to make sure when I pull that out that I know where it goes because I have a hard time putting things back together again. Okay, so we remove that. Uh, the carburetor order uh, does not show in the listing this. 
but the picture shows this on the um, carburetor itself. Oh, are you taking the old one out? Yeah. The problem is the governor's spring. One thing's good, it's not dripping. It only dripped when I first pulled it off, which means the second shutoff cock is not leaking. The original one is leaking, but I would have to drain the gas tank completely. I do have a new one that goes on the bottom of the tank here from Champion. They sent that at the same time that they sent the, um, that the carburetor. Right. Now, Yeah, that's, oh, that's the spark plug. They're telling you to remove the spark plug wire. Um, I'm going to change the plug and change the oil anyways, but the oil will not get changed until I make sure that the new carburetor isn't flooding. We don't want to contaminate that oil, and I didn't bring a rag out to clean everything. You can probably see there's a lot of rust here. Yeah. Uh, and you can't see the muffler from here, uh, the muffler shield. Uh, I can paint probably most of it. I didn't buy the paint yet uh, because I wasn't going to actually work on this. You know, this is strange. I've seen this too. CPE, instead of overhead valve, CPE, whatever that stands for. But anyways, uh, th this hose here is a, uh, a va some sort of a crankcase ventilation, I guess, valve, uh, what do you call it? Um, you're supposed to slide this back. I'm going to have to turn this light off. Light is bright. <laughs> I need bright light so I can... I have a feeling that gasket's stuck. Mm. It's not coming out. That's the story of my life, you know. Nothing works for me. There it goes. All right. Now, according to what I've seen on a couple of videos that Andrew sent me, you pull it back about halfway, then you can release the governor. Well, I'm going to get a needle nose pliers. I might as well stop the recording now. Now, the problem is going to be to try to keep this light, which is going to be impossible. I can't hold the light and do that, too. Let's see. Maybe I can get it up into here. I can get the light to stay there without falling down. Uh, it's not right on my work, though. This iced coffee is good. Yeah. All right. Now, you slide it out. But I can't. I can't see where the thing is in the hole. That's Tommy sipping his coffee, folks. That's all that is. That isn't gas coming out of the generator. All right. Uh, problem is, I gotta have the light over here. Now, I don't remember what he, on the video, which one he took out first, the bar, the rod, or the spring. I have a terrible time remembering things. There's a certain sequence, and I'm not going back in the house to watch the videos. It takes too much time up finding the videos and... Now, Tommy's using a ZE-1, so we're not going to be able to get super close-ups with it. I wish you could, but you can't. Uh, problem this ho this hose here is going to have to go in this way instead of down because of the elbow. You'll see that if I get this off. Uh, bring over that other carburetor. Le leave that recording. Don't drop it, whatever you do. Just the carburetor itself. Okay. 
that's making sure all right that looks the same that bar goes in there's only one hole in here and there's didn't bring my magnifier one hole here Now what I, I'm, I'm doing is I'm attempting to change the entire carburetor instead of messing around with the float and stuff like that. I can mess around with the float on a bench on the table outside afterwards. Let's put the new one in and try to fix the old one, which I won't be able to do, I doubt. I'll be able to because the gasket, for one thing, although it's not leaking on the old one, um, it is... Um, kind of deteriorated what's on the floor what's on the ground over there oh that's a that's a that's one of them scrubby pads okay i see something laying over there all right so pull that out halfway there's a flyer i have it covered up left handed too that don't help i gotta hold the flashlight in my right hand need to put this light back where it was. It's not giving me... You want me to hold it? Uh, yeah, the, wait a minute, I think I got it. Hope it stays there. Yeah, if it stays there, I'll be all right. I get the, I get the spring off first. I think that's what you gotta do. They make it look so easy on, you, on the videos. <laughs> they really do. You know, it's not easy. I don't care what anybody says. This Maybe you're supposed to take the bar out first. I don't know. Let me. This will be an interesting video. Yeah. Certainly don't want this to become another one of my failures. Uh, you got to give it a turn. You said to pull it out like halfway, according to what uh, the videos I've been watching. Like, pull it out. They made it so close, so easy. ain't coming out. The spring is driving it back, but I can't get the spring out without grabbing it and bending it like that. And then, because it's got a hook in it, I got to take and bend it like this to get it out. And if I do that, that's going to screw up the governor. This is the thing I was worried about. This is the very thing I said I did not want to touch. Let's see, now I, I'm holding it over, but the problem is this gas line is in the way and I don't want to put pressure on it, have it leak on me. I'm not right-handed, and i got to use the pliers in the right hand. Oh, there it goes. Okay, we got, we got half of that off. Okay, try and get it back in. That'll be a chore for today. Huh. But it's not running anyways. I can't see to put the pliers in there. I can't seem to grab the wire. It's too thin. I can't see it. Isn't that something? I can't. I can't get my needle nose on it. I can't see it. I can see the wire, but the, for some reason, I keep missing the wire with the pliers. Why? I can't do it. I gotta do it with my fingers. Damn gas lines in the way. You know, these people say this easy. It's not easy. I get so mad at these people when they tell me that. I can't get. How the hell am I gonna get this in if I can't get it out? I gotta I work with left handed. I don't know. I got it. Not easy. I knew that was going to be an SOB to get out. There's the carburetor. Yeah. Okay. You see this? Are you? Are we in camera? Yeah. Can you see that? See that's going up in the air. Look at this one. Straight out. Okay. Uh, the gasket don't look too good. Ew. 
I don't have another one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to use this. I'm not too worried about the air filter part. Ugh. You'll take the gasket out. I can't. I can't. Uh, it's a good thing I ordered that other carburetor. I can't make a gasket because I don't know if this. I can't see that. I don't know if this part here is supposed to be there or not. And the ones on eBay have a little screw, either on this side or over here, mixture screw, <coughs> but there isn't. Now, this is called a Style G, like in George, carburetor. That's the one that's listed on the parts list of the carburetor champion sent me. There is no Style G carburetor on eBay. I looked at about a 15 different auctions. But it does list the model. 46415 is the model of this generator. When Champion sent me this carburetor, they said it's a Style G and it's for one 63 cc. This is 196 cc. But it also says six and a half horsepower, which is what this is. So now, this is what I was afraid of. It's glued on there. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. Put it on without the gasket? Try to rip this off? I got to give it a single edge razor blade. Um, I'm going to go in the shop and take my single edge razor blade and work on the bench to try to get this gasket out. That's not the one. This is the one. That's the, that's the uh, intake. Intake is stuck too. But I'm not worried about the intake. I'm worried about this part. It looks like it's a, a, a gap here. This may end. Yes, there's more gasket material on here. Yeah. Yep, the rest of the gasket's over here. I knew this was going to happen. That's oh. the, way it, the way it works. You can see how dirty this everything is here. And I'm not sure how the gasket's supposed to be made. It's got all this dirt in here, very filthy. Um, I'm gonna do, have to depend, I have to wait for that, uh, that, uh, those to come in. Hopefully you can put the new, ga the new, uh... I can't put the new one on without the gasket. Can't do it. It's gonna leak like a sieve. I mean, it, it won't run. It won't, uh, get the air in there, I guess. It won't leak gas, I don't think. It might, it might lose gas. Maybe that's why it was leaking. You know? Maybe there's nothing wrong with this carburetor at all. But we're gonna put the new one on anyways. Maybe because it is here. Am I in camera? Yeah. I have to depend on you, you got, you know. Maybe that's why it was leaking, because normally the gas would come out of here and go into the engine and that might be why, but the ga the engine, it was leaking with the engine off. So I really don't know. That shows you how much I know about these things. Um, but uh, I don't see any cracks. I gotta, I'm gonna have to bring this in the shop and try to get this off. But it's gonna come off in pieces, I can guarantee that. So, I'll join you in a little bit. I'm going to be doing this in the shop off camera where I can see and inspect this and try to get these gaskets off. It would have to be this side because I knew that it would be. That's the way my luck runs. It's always the one that's most needed. The one where the air cleaner is um, is not as critical. At least I don't think so. 
and it looks like that if I'm very careful with a razor blade I might be able to get that entire thing off this is is chopped out here but not knowing what the original one looks like other than photos that I've seen on eBay I really don't know now it comes with three gaskets all the carburetors that I've looked at have three gaskets there's one here one here where's the third they're not showing a round gasket for the bowl they're showing three of these type gaskets where's the third of these type gaskets if they ha if they are enclosing three gaskets with each carburetor that's another question all right so We'll join you. I'm going to go in the shop. You might as well shut the camera down. It's going to be a while. And pieces are coming off. I tried on the input first, and this is it. I need to leave these on so I know which shape gasket goes where. I have no choice. I cannot do this unless I put the carburetor on dry without a gasket. And then I have to take it all out. When I have to mess with that governor linkage, I only want to do it one time. It's not easy getting that stuff on and off, as you saw me struggling with it. Mostly because I can't get my light where it's supposed to be, and this light is still on under there. I didn't realize it. Okay, so, uh, what I'm going to do now is simply keep this carburetor out and leave them gaskets on there. put this back in the box and when I get the other carburetor in I'll have the I'll have the gaskets that'll match well I'm gonna have to go by the other carburetor to see because there's there's two different shapes of gaskets uh, the one with the round hole okay the small round hole is it's a good question which is the in and which is the out let's see this I remember this is the input for the filter air filter housing and only because uh, it's got a nice gasket uh, or maybe not I don't remember which is the in and which is the out now isn't that something that's how much I know that's how much I know folks okay all right it goes this way all right so this is the part that goes to the engine so that's got the smaller round hole in it with the little little throttle plate okay am I in camera yeah okay I'm always off camera so I'm you know all right so that goes towards the engine so when I get the gasket from eBay if it's got the small opening here then I can tear all this off with the razor blade and there's pieces left on the engine block too so um, that's going to be fun to get off because the studs are in the way and it's going to be hard for me to do that uh, on this it would look the same as this yeah alright because there's the gas inlet here on the new one is the gas inlet on the old one uh, so we know that the mounting brackets this way so it goes on the engine this way so the gasket with the larger hole would go here all right so I'm gonna leave these on so I don't put the wrong gasket on okay somebody had mentioned about the carburetor bowl making sure that it's straight on it is I had them both off I should have left one on I had them off when I swapped them but when I as I recall these two nuts are in line with the dead center here so as you're looking at the side of the carburetor the um, carburetor bowl should fit here because you could turn this bowl most any direction and it'll, it'll lock into place no problem at all so I think that's where it goes it looks right as you're looking at the side of the carburetor and these nuts line up 
in the middle here. So I'm pretty sure I got the bowl on right because I had them both off. So I don't have one to compare. But when I get the one from eBay, I'll double check myself. Because other than the convenience of the drain here, you could probably turn this bowl over to here, but then you wouldn't be able to get at the drain. So in theory, this bowl could be turned, I think, any direction. It could be turned over to here, too. But it's more convenient to have it this way. So I think I got the bowl on right. But right now, right now, folks, we've got a lot of stuff torn down here, and I don't like that. Um, and I don't like leaving the governor off because if it comes off the other end I am screwed, blued, and tattooed as I say don't like leaving things unhooked because I've had things fall off on me that uh, muffler is dirty yeah, it's, it's rusty paint is all coming off of it but that's another thing um I know I said I'm not changing the oil until I change the carburetor uh, but the last time I changed oil I looked in the book I wrote it down 2015 is the last time I changed it so it was done since 2011 so five years ago. Five years ago, yeah. Yeah. But you only got only got so many hours on it. It isn't. It's been on some bad storms. All right. So I think this is going to have to wind the video down. Uh, I could put a new plug in it too while I'm at it. I was going to do all that stuff when I ch changed the carburetor. But I might as well do that so that's not much less I have to do later. So um, I'll be right back. All right I took some notes here uh, from the manual rather than to get the manual all dirty. Um, this is I bought this at my hardware store NGK uh, A BR8ES. Okay. That's okay. I uh, here I don't even read my own writings. There's three uh, plugs you can use in this. When the cold climates, all the time. Uh, the medium service, uh, I told you how many hours, was severe service in hot environments. All right, it looks like I wrote BRGES instead of BR8GS or equivalent. That's supposed to be the one for most service, severe service. Um, you know, like, uh, I don't know, I have to, I'm trying to go from memory and I don't re re rely on my memory. Uh, like uh, high temperatures and, um, I don't know, 10 hours or more continuous running. Um, I don't know what's in there. This is the plug wrench that came with it. It's three quarter inch. But they didn't give you a um, a handle with it. It didn't come with a handle. I've got a regular spark plug uh, socket, but I doubt I'll be able to find it in my junk shed there. So let me get back. Maybe I can do it this way. Maybe I can use this. Let's see. Get the plug out. I've had it out. What of work doing this, huh? A lot of work. I know things are in your way. I guess it's good to change the spark plug, huh? Yeah, it's good. 
I don't know what I put in there. I'm pretty sure I changed the plug once in this. Not 100% sure. This has always been very good. You can't see up in there. You gotta I can, gotta go by feel. Can't, can't see that. Man, there's a lot of threads on that. That's a spark plug. It's very sooty. Yeah. Gotta get a magnifier, hang on. A BR8ES. BR8ES, that's what's in here, okay. Dirty. Black. Sooty. Huh. Uh, the electrode looks pretty flat across, so... It's not wet with, uh, with gas. BR8. Uh, this is a new one. Nice. Nice and clean. That's a new one. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be one. <laughs> Want me to help you? No, you can't. You know, gotta know what you. You gotta have the feel for it, Tom. You gotta have the feel. That's why I can do a lot of things by feel. I got it in there. It's starting. You got to feel when the, you know where you're in the threaded hole. Okay, it's start tightening up perfectly by hand. It, I'm screwing it in. It's got a long sh uh, thread on it. I think I might as well change the plug while I'm at it. Yeah. And I'll just pick up another spare and have that. Now, let's put this on. That piece of metal you made up? No, that's a spark plug wrench. Uh, those typical things they give you with generators. Oh. They they work all right. It's well, just I don't know. It. I don't work on that stuff. Yeah. Uh, I gas play tank. video games and stuff like that. Gas tank is in the way here. Let me see if I can bring it down. I play video games. I don't work on stuff like that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright, she's in there, snugged up. We'll put this on for now because uh, we don't have the carburetor in anyways. Okay, so the plug is done. We don't have to worry about that. Try to clean this out if I can. No big deal, I go to the hardware store, and I've got a Champion in there too, brand new, that has not been opened, but they recommend NGK, and my hardware store does sell those. When I first got the generator, I bought two different kinds of plugs, I mean two manufacturers, Champion and the NGK. So, uh, it's still hot out here. Yeah, but nowhere near as bad as it was. Nowhere near as bad as it was. Now normally you'd run this to warm the oil or drain it. Uh, keep a carburetor in it. But, well, I knew it was going to be like that. Because, you know, it's, it's quite a few years been running. The gasket's bound to be stuck to the carb or the engine, one or the other. So now, I'll be back. Alright, you see what I gotta do here? Now, unfortunately, when I built this um, wheel thing here, I didn't have the money or want to spend the extra money for the Champion wheel kit. So now you got a 2x6 right here, everything's in the way. I mean, I didn't think of this. But I managed to change the oil in 2015, so perhaps, um, take this oil thing out. Perhaps I um, was able to drain it better if there was a regular, com regular wheel kit on this, because it would probably just be a single shaft like this. It wouldn't be a big piece of wide wood. 
I already loosened this. I don't know if my container is going to be big enough. If not, I'll plug it back up again. <laughs> and the container is not perfectly clean, but it's wiped out. So we can get an examination of the oil as it comes out, and it is pretty dirty. Ew. No grit that I can feel in on this end. That's oil, huh? Yeah. Now we can uh, take this out to get some ventilation so it'll come out better. And that's what we have to do, folks, and it's going to be a very, very slow process. Now, what I will probably do is tip this up on the other end a little bit so I can stick something under that wheel to get it to drain better. So, uh, we'll let a little, we'll, we'll shut, we'll plug this up for now in case this funnel falls off. That's if I don't lose the screw down in the oil. Yeah, I can't even get the screw started. There it goes. Ah, I didn't. All right. So this way I'm going to tip it up. Now I'll move this out of the way here so I don't... Uh... I'll be back. i got to get a block of wood. I got a 2x4 under there and it's up an inch and a half more. So I think that'll be good enough to get the oil out. As long as it doesn't overflow the container. Well, I if it does, I'll shut it off and I... Uh... I usually have my garage change my oil and everything else now, so we don't have containers of oil anymore. You have to bring it to the transfer station, and they have drums over there, but I haven't been there in years. Boy, everything's all uh, fungi-like. It's just like crappy, you know? No, it's cloudy now. That's good. It's only because the sun's behind the cloud, and, you know... Even though it's less humidity today, I elected not to go to Jewett City this morning because at 6 o'clock in the morning, the sun was out very, very strong. And I said, no, like Andy Griffith would say, uh, <laughs> no way, no way, Jose. All right, so she's draining good. The container's about three quarters full. And... Um, Of course, I had gas in here uh, the other day, so there may still be a gas smell. But I'll try to smell the oil and see if it smells like there's gas in it. That's a long time to drain. Yeah, it's draining though. And the viscosity is good. Viscosity is very good. This is uh, 10W30 uh, Castro GTX. That's the oil I've always used in my cars. Um, they're telling you 530 in the winter, but we very rarely use the generator in the winter. We, I have used it, but most of our problem is we lose power due to storms in the fall. Oh, it's still coming out a little bit. Uh, keep an eye on that and tell me if that drains a little bit. I'll lift that other side up. A little higher than the block. Hmm. Allows me to do. Just keep an eye on it. Make sure the funnel don't fall out. Is it starting to come out more? A little bit. The funnel's still there, right? Yeah. Okay. Is it draining faster or is it slowing down? Kind of slowing down, like nothing coming out of there. Nothing coming out now? No. Let me go just a little higher. Nothing coming out? No. Okay, we're good to go. Take the block out. We're back down to level. Me, get me rag here. Get me rag. Uh, 
Breeze feels good. Yeah. All right. Now we gotta move this out of the way for now. Just make sure I don't knock it over. Uh, there was no gasket on this, but there is a metal ring on this end. You gotta put new oil on it. Oh yeah. Where's the oil going to? It goes right here. Oh. By way of a funnel, just like I've got here. Where's the oil? Over there, on the shelf of the gen house. Uh, now I can't get this started. I'm totally left-handed, so I got them work this way. <laughs> you know, I just cannot do things right-handed. I can do a few things right-handed, but very little. This is the low oil shutoff right here. I'm pretty sure that is. Never had it. This generator never used any oil at all. There's virtually no oil uh, leakage, uh, consumption, I should say. Uh, to believe this is a 12 millimeter. 12 millimeter, yeah. Okay. All right, now, I'll get the oil. Okay, I thought I had a full container of GTX. But this was, these oil, the containers were in the gin house on the little shelf in there. But I don't think there's enough, but I can use this. Then I've got Valvoline, that's another very good oil. 10:30. So we will start out. It don't take a full quart of oil. It takes, I believe, I have it down as 18 ounces. I think it's 0.6 of a quart. don't like the way these things fill. <laughs> uh, I have a tendency to maybe lift this side up a little bit just to get make sure it gets in there. I hope you don't get it on your pants. That, yeah, I ruined another pair of pants. <laughs> then you can't go anywhere. No, I've got good clothes. I've got to dig them out of the closet. We don't go anywhere anyways. Going anywhere these days? No. Those days are over, folks. Huh. But the only thing we used to do was used to go out to our local pizza house and enjoy a meal inside. Those days are permanently gone. I miss those days. Well, they're not going to open. They're going to stay, according to what they tell me, they're going to stay uh, to go only. There's not enough in there. No, that's why I got the other oil, but I thought this was a full container. I usually mark on it open, but I didn't do that here. I just marked generator, but that's all right. I we, use a good oil. I uh, use Casto GTX or Valvoline or anything like that. The only one I won't use is Penn's oil. I used to use that on my 63 Ford Galaxy, and the oil pressure was low for the same viscosity. Uh, I used to use uh, 1030 or 1040, if I can get it. And the oil pressure was always lower using um, Penn's oil all the time. And Quaker State wasn't much better. But it was a lot better than Penn's oil. For some reason, I think Penn's oil probably, even though it's marked a certain viscosity, like 1030, it probably wasn't. I use every drop. I don't waste anything, folks. <laughs> 
You see how my garage fills oil, he just pours it in, doesn't let it all, he lets, you know, if it's got a, if it's trickling out, I don't mean dripping, but trickling, he takes it out like that and he puts the next one in. So, not me. I get every drop out. Okay, I know it's not anywhere near full. So, that goes in the recycle bin. That goes in the recycle bin. This one here has not been opened. It says Valvoline 1030 also. Uh, it's got to have the cover on it. The black cover, Tom. The black cover. You know, it can't get, you can't judge 18 ounces of oil. Because I'm using two different cans now. If I started with this, I could have guessed at it. So the simple thing is, when it starts overflowing a little bit, we're full. You don't want to put too little oil in it either, you know? I'd rather have it so it comes out the filler, even though you're wasting a little. How do you know when it's full? It'll come running out. If there's a there's a dipstick here. Dipstick. Such as it is. A little stubby. Which I uh, need a microscope to see. Stubby little thing. But you know, it's hard to estimate it. So each time I check the oil on it, when I take this out, oil comes out right away. So I know, if anything, it's a hair overfull. At least I'm not going to damage the engine. You don't want to really overfill it, because then you'll have a big problem with hydro locking and everything else. And it just won't, won't run. Uh... I gotta get my flashlight. I'll be right back and my magnifier. This is your gynecologist speaking to you, young lady. Let's examine here. Oh, hmm. Nope. Not yet. All right. Let's uh, get in here. Just go slow because we don't want to. My back is itching. Sorry, folks. I used to use screwdrivers and I make holes in my shirt. I can't help it. Very, very itchy back. I'm maybe uh, 50 times a day I'm scratching it with a back scratcher. I think that's a diabetic thing. My wife has the same thing. Very, very itchy back. Ah. Uh, I have a back scratcher in my shop. I have a back scratcher in the shed. I just gotta go get it out. I, we have a couple in the house. I All right, let's uh, try the small light here again. Those don't give much light. Okay, I think we're full. Yep, it looks full. It's full. It's running out, so it's full. Well, we should change the oil on the spark plug. That's good. Yeah, well, let's take a look at the muffler while we're at it. Let's examine this. Let's examine the situation, folks. At least we got the oil. I wanted to do the oil after I changed the carburetor, but, it, you know, it's only going to be run for a very, very short time. You know? And um, turn the camera over here. You see this crap on here? It's like a fungi, isn't it? Yeah. Ew. It's like a fungi all over everything. It's all dirty. Yeah. Well, that's the dampness. There's no rain getting in. But I got it on the front panel here and everything. Um, it's not rust. The only thing that is rusty is the muffler. But I guess that's normal. That would happen in a, there we go. In a lawnmower or something, too. You can see the muffler, too. Yeah. You all right. Know. Well, uh, bring your camera down to here. Uh, this is where I'm talking about, down here where the... Um, I can see it, yeah. Yeah, it's rusty oh, down rusted. there. 
Well, I need to uh, paint that. All right, so what I want to do now, I want to clean this up a little bit, but I'll do that off camera. Um, what I want to do now is to uh, check the oil so I can smell any gas in it. But uh, the, can the container had gas in it from catching gas on the leak here. So that's not going to be a real accurate test for it. I'm going to mark open on this container. Okay, before I take off the side panel here, uh, there's rust in here, a little bit rusty. This is my contraption, which is bolted into the um, exhaust port. The spark arrestor has been removed, um, to, so it doesn't restrict the flow. And, and a brace out of a threaded rod I made here uh, to support this and uh, a gooseneck down here. So uh, this is simply a uh, conduit. It's not a perfect seal maybe here. Um, I made this, I made a video on it, you've seen it. It's pretty steady, you can see the whole generator moves. This is solid, this don't move. Okay. Um, but that's what you have to do if you want to put this into a gen house of some kind. You gotta, you can't have the exhaust going into the building. All right, so I want to paint this, but I think it might be better because of the side over here. I don't want to remove the uh, muffler. Okay, I'm not removing the muffler. I'm removing all that. I had a hard time getting this piece in here. It was very tight fitting, so I had a hard time getting it in. Uh, so it's, I'm gonna probably have to. Uh, use a brush and get in there the best I can. So the back side near the alternator itself is not going to be painted. All right, let's go over on this side here. Oh man. That is tight. Ew. Now this is only a quarter inch. That shouldn't be that hard. Is there a nut on the back of that? Nope. All right, we're going to have to get um, magnifier out here. I don't even know what size this is. That's 10 millimeter. All right, uh, that's 10. Let me go get the other, the 3 8 drive. We'll be right back. the threads back there. We got oil from the funnel, uh, so we might as well use it uh, to oil the, the threads. There's no nut on the back of this. No nut. No nut. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. My life will never be interrupted. Uh, let's see. Maybe it'll just be a little easier. That's if I can get my, if I can hit the right, if I can hit the screw and not the framework. I keep putting oil on the frame instead of on that because I can't see what I'm doing. Nothing new. Let's see if I can get some oil. It's not coming off. Yeah, it's coming off. I can feel it. The threads are rusty. 
it's a damp area. Everything here is damp. Everything here is damp. There it is. Threads are a little bit rusty. Not too bad. Fine. Now, we'll take my finger and work some oil into the threads from the oil that's on the thing. We don't want to get too many things taken apart here because, uh, we'll be forgetting where they go. I still got the carburetor bolts laying in the air cleaner. I got the filter cover bolts somewhere around. I'm looking at the cover bolts right there on the thing. I got to put them back on the studs here. All right, let's see if I can get a little oil on the back side of that. Okay. All right, so that takes care of those. Let's get this out. I think I might as well look it over in here. Are we all in camera here, or are you yep. just... Okay. I hope the battery holds out. Well, if it stops, that'll be the end of the video, because I can't do anything else on this. On anything, I got Without... Uh, well, you do that. Uh, can't do anything else until I, uh, I get the gaskets from eBay, and what I'm... I got a few dollars left in the eBay uh, PayPal uh, bank account that I can probably get a separate gasket set because the gas the carburetor I'm going to be getting from eBay I may not use because it's got a screw on the side of it and this one don't the replacement don't and the original don't so I may use just the gaskets from it but I need to have an extra set of gaskets in case I have to use the other carburetor so when I, I want to use the one I got from Champion and the only reason I bought a whole carburetor is it came with the choke lever, it came with another hose, gas line probably, or a vent hose, and um, and the gasket. So I might as well, it's a better deal, because I think it's $6 for, plus shipping for just the gaskets alone, and that's not a good deal. But I may put in for a set of gaskets anyways. Man, no, no, don't tell me that's... Oh, that's secured up here. All right, let me drop a screw in here so I don't lose it. If the video stops, that'll be the end of the video. So if we lose it all of a sudden, uh, you'll know what happened. Uh, I won't be able to get that out. I don't have an extension for this. Wait a minute now, let me see, I might have one. Yeah. No, that's the quarter inch. I don't have a 3 eighths. I do have a 3 eighths. I do have a 3 eighths, but it's in my big toolbox. So let's go back to the quarter inch. A 10 millimeter. I'm guessing because I can't see the markings on the thing. Alright. If I can't get this out, we're not going to worry about it. I will get this out, but it'll be off camera because I got to dig out my 3 8 extension. Okay, it's coming out. I'll tell you, I'm getting a little uncomfortable. It's not being not very good working out here right now, folks. It's a good thing we're not going uh, anywhere today. I uh, know, can't go anywhere. The only place we go is to the market, McDonald's, or uh, some or Tumbling Farms. That's that's really it. I want to be able to show you the muffler at the very least. See how rusty that is? There's no paint on it. If I let this go, it's going to rust, rust right through. 
and uh, it just bolted on the engines, of course, but you know what happens when I try to do something, I break the studs off. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this back on because I got too many bolts unhooked here, too many bolts taken off, I should say. And um, it's still going. Yeah, it's still going. Okay, nice and nice in here. It didn't rust out in here. But we don't want to get a hole in this because this would be very very loud. Now these engines, from what I've read, are Honda clones. So in other words. They claim the carburetors will fit, from the Hondas will fit this too. I don't know how true it is, uh, Donnie Boy had mentioned it, but when I looked it up on eBay, it was a completely di different carburetor. It had a thing on the side of it that was nothing like the carburetor I've got in this. So I th don't think that's the case. He may be wrong on that, or whatever, um, but whatever. I think it would just clean it up a little bit, and I'll get this back on. All I got is ordinary Rust-Oleum paint. To put that on there, it'll just burn right off and smoke like hell, and burn all off, and it's all wasted. I need high-temperature manifold paint, but I think it would be better for me to brush it on. Um, There's no way, I mean, I could spray it, but it's going to get all over the generator itself, even if I cover it, and on the bottom of the gas tank. All right, so we're going to put this all back, but I'm going to do it off the camera. So, folks, we got to paint this.